Hello everyone, this is Ben Shap, Level Up Tuts. Today we're going to level up our expression engine skills. This is tutorial number 9, and we are going to cover expression engine template tags um, as an introduction, and then the next couple of videos we'll just dive deeper and deeper into that topic. Um, before we start, I want to encourage everyone to subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, and I just want to thank everyone that has already really appreciate that. Okay, so to start, we'll go into our control panel, and um, we can sort of do this two ways. Uh, you can either you know do it from these shortcuts here, uh, but I'm going to go under the tab for design, templates, and go into the template manager. So in the last video, we talked about global variable snippets, um, synchronized templates, global template preferences, and template. Uh, template preference manager um, so we're not going to go over these again um, but that's the shortcuts to these buttons but then they're also just sort of within the menu here oops the menu right here so just as a convenience um, they're in both places uh, okay so in this area here the left hand column this is where we would see our template groups we have none created um, and then here is where we'd see the templates that have been assigned or created within uh, the group that you have selected here. Um, but before we just like jump in and start creating groups and templates, uh, there's something really important that you need to know about Expression Engine and that um, everything is sort of URL structure based. So if we had a group, and I'm just going to do this really quickly. Um, called news. And um, so now that we've created a, a group called news, it automatically creates an index file for us. Um, we now um, can actually, uh, what we've done is we can now do this, and this page actually exists. So let me just prove that. Uh, news. Load date and finish. So now, if I were to set the root, it's not there. But the reason why it knows to use this template that I created is because the template group is the first segment of the URL, segment one. That's the first one after index.php. This is something that we're going to remove later. Um, so if you've already done that, it would look like this, but it's the same thing. It's just using HT access rules to pretty much just hide that. So the way that it works again is it's segment one is the template group, and then segment two is the template. So if I were to create another template here, um, new template, um, uh, local, I don't know. So I'll say local, create and edit local news update and finish so now local oops that aired because I don't have my index.php here there we go so the way this works again segment one is the template group and segment two is the template within here um, now there's no, like these don't have their own groups, so to get to that third and fourth and, you know, beyond, I think you can have like nine segments or something like that, maybe more. Um, to get beyond, it gets a little bit trickier, um, you just, you know, it just takes a little bit more knowledge of Expression Engine, um, but depending on what you're trying to do with your site, maybe that's all you're going to have. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's sort of how uh, the base understanding of how template groups and template works through the you know and how expression engine works overall using the structure of the URL. Um, this guy uh, James Smith, he actually came up with this pretty intense URL schematic of how expression engine works. And here you can see it's like coming through segment one, and it's saying, oh, is there a segment one? Oh, there's not. Then it's then give me the default um, or give me the home page. There's no home page. Oh, then give them a 404. So, anyway, this is a pretty fascinating um, 
schematic that you guys should check out if you're really interested in how Expression Engine works. Um, and I will link to it in the tutorial, um, in the notes. So check it out. Um, that's James James Smith. Um, I, I just recently saw that, but I've seen seen his name in the forum. So um, he def he definitely knows what he's talking about. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this group and sort of start over. All right, so. Uh, I deleted that group, and so now what I'm going to do is start a, a new group and, and talk you through it. Okay, so template group name. Um, I, this is something like I just set mine to news. Uh, these are very important. These are search, you know, these, the names, that whatever you choose here should be search engine friend, friendly. So if this is a news section, that's why I use news. Um, if it's a staff section, you know, maybe you type staff in, <clears throat> if it's your products, you know, definitely let people know that this is a product and then, and then, you know, and then, and in the URL structure, you would imagine, you could imagine that it would be like products and then your product name or something like that. Um, I'll just do news though. Actually, you know what? I'm going to create one called site. Now site is not very SEO friendly. I guess, um, but the reason why I'm doing that is that's this is this is the directory where I'm going to put my home page and some other files. So I'm going to set up the site. The option we have an option here to say duplicate an existing template group. We don't have one because I deleted that other one, right? So um, there's no option here. On the second group, we'll have an option if we go through our settings. Um, and then this is important: make the index template in this group your site's home page. So um, if we look back on um, James schematic is segment one so segment one would be this one here and so what that schematic says is you know if there's not then serve the home page and it's going to do that by the default template group well I haven't defined a group yet so this is how we're going to do that so we say uh, we just go ahead and check that box hit submit Every time you create a template group, you get an index template for free. Go ahead and click into that, and then we'll just we'll just do this. Um, I'm going to put in the global variable uh, for the site name. So now, if I just refresh this, oops, that's not right. There we go. So the global variable, which again is something we talked about in that last video, um, it is a vari variable as defined in the system um, that you can just use anywhere. Um, so I put in site name, and now I'm at my um, home page because I checked that box, and now we're seeing the name of the site. Um, you know, whatever. We can use another. Global variable homepage, update and finish. We'll say, and now it you know outputted the URL that I'm um, doing this on, just some, some subdomain of my site, um, and so that is the beginning of how template groups and templates work. Uh, in the next video, we're going to um, look deeper into um, some of the fun portions like how to output content um, using the expression engine channels tag. Um, if you're interested in knowing more about this, remember, um, I haven't said this in too many of the videos, just the one of the initial ones. From any page with an expression engine, if you're stuck, if you have a question, it doesn't even matter. Like if you're on the snippets page, for example, and you hit help, um, it hopped me over to expression engine latest user guide. To the page that uh, that I was on, so I was on the snippets page, so it brought me here. So that's just a handy thing if you get stuck or have a question. You know, this is just a cool way that they've implemented that you can um, learn more. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching, um, and again, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.